you. That was why I didn't inform the police as you instructed me. Uh, 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 you said you were going to come on the 5th of last month. And when I didn't see you, I I thought you were no longer coming. I'm... What? No, ah! Gee, I can see that you are toy. With your life and your destiny. Listen to me. What a ridiculous statement! Do we? Sir, please, please, sir. I, 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 I'm sorry, sir. Please, sir. <laughs> Don't you read the letter? That we are coming any moment from feet of last month. So you don't read the content. <sighs> I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You are sorry for yourself? I'm sorry, sir. I'm if sorry, you don't sir. want to waste your life and your destiny and your children and your family, can you go inside and bring money for me? Uh, um, sir, please, sir. I'll double the money, please, sir. But, but, sir, please, I want to uh, understand. I'm sorry. Uh. Double danger. Yes, are you here? <laughs> Right in our presence, they don't get 
Tai and took Kenny away. <laughs> it's all right, madam. It's all right. <sighs> but when the root letter that they were coming, why didn't you inform us? Inform you? We didn't believe in that. How could armed robbers write a letter to the house they want to come and rob? When they came, I, 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 I even tried, did everything possible to, to plead with them. But, uh, uh, and, and there was this, 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 this guy, um, Scor Scorpion. I begged him, pleaded. Everything proved that bought him. <sighs> and do you not believe the letter that they actually come on? Ah! I would have prepared. I would have adequately prepared. They killed my Thai. And took Kenny away. Can you imagine him de demanding ransom? Ransom from me. Huh? <sighs> it is well. It is well, sir. It's all right. Um, you know what? I promise you that we would get to the end of this. We will do something about it. Mm -hmm. Just realize that we are going to get to the end of this. Please, officer, we are counting on you. Thank you. You said Scorpio, right? Yes, Scorpio. I thought the worst thing that can never happen to me was the case of the armed robbery and kidnapping. Jesus, help me. But today, I realize that the worst case or the worst thing that can ever happen to me is to miss the rapture. God, I missed it. Jesus, I missed it. <laughs> the Lord met me on the ways, unprepared, just like a thief in the night. Look at my wife, Rhoda, and her two children, Esther and Rafael. They've gone with the Lord, but here am I, left behind. Carelessness, the worries, and the cares of this life. Worldliness, the works of the flesh, the pride of life has choked my spirit, man. What do I start to gain? What exactly is my gain? Oh God. Sir, this is the woman, sir. Oh, I see. Um, sir, I think I'd like you to plead with your wife and make her to sign those documents to stop this unnecessary treatment. DPO, sir. Yes, sir. That is why I'm here, to okay. persuade her to do the needful. Ah, the order is not from me. The order is from the top. Whoever wants to live peacefully without being punished must sign the document. It is a must. So, the ball is in her court. Ruda, dear, please, I'm begging you. I'm pleading. Please, sign this peace agreement form. You know that all what we did over there 
undergoes the signing of different forms. Why is it now difficult for you to sign the peace agreement form? Please, I'm urging you, do this thing and stop yourself from being maltreated this way. Look at yourself, a whole wife of Mr. Jonathan looking at Mrs. Jonathan being humiliated in this manner. I'm not happy. Please, do the needful. No. Um, Mr. Jonathan, I can see the love you have for your wife. And this would make me to give you the last chance. I am willing to release her to you, but on one condition. Please, what's the condition, sir? Firstly, you would follow him to the counter and submit all your traveling documents. This is going to stand as a guarantor. And I will have to give you the form which you will take home with you and plead with her to sign. You have three days to plead with her to sign this. After she signs it, you'll have to bring this back and come back for your traveling documents. If she doesn't sign this, you'll have to bring her back and come for your own traveling documents. Are you okay with that? DPO, I want to thank you for this favor. I wouldn't take it for granted. I will ensure that I do everything in my capacity to make sure she signs it. Please do. No problem about that. And um, you. So, how about those that have refused to sign the documents? What have you done about them? I to train them every day, sir. And do some are cooperating, sir. I don't know. I am a Christian. And I cite this form. I don't know what is so hard in it to sign. See, I don't understand all this Christian fanatics and all that. You see, there's no Jesus coming anyway. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. It has been in existence even before my great great grandfather, even before my ancestors. And we've not seen. Is it this time that Jesus will now appear? Let's be realistic. Well, Mr. Jonathan, I think I'm done with you. Make sure she signs it and bring it back and come for your documents. That is it. Make sure you collect these traveling documents. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. You are welcome, sir. Ruda, where are you going now? I'm begging you in the name of the Lord Jesus that we serve and believe. Please, sign this agreement form. There's nothing in it. You can see that I've committed myself. I dropped our traveling documents just because of your release. I want things to be easy with us. And remember that the DPO said, it's either you sign this agreement form or nothing. Please. Please, dear. I'm very tired. Okay, give me time to think about it. I need to sleep and rest, please. I understand. I know you went through a lot in that place. But please, try. Try and do this thing. I'm begging you. No problem, dear. Thank you so much for your love and care. I appreciate it. Jesus Christ is coming in the cloud. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ is coming in the cloud. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ is coming in the cloud. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Luda. Hallelujah. What is it? Oh, it's a dream. Dream about what? Yeah, we made it. Made what? With our two kids. Made what with your two kids? Ah, it's about rapture. Hmm. Dear listen, the Lord is coming with false flights to take the saints. Please, dear, let me explain. In the revelation, 
It's like we wanted to embark on a journey. Okay. I saw myself and our two kids. And some people from different tribes and country. Both black and white. But the people are not that plenty. What we are waiting for to take us on the journey was a train. Every one of us was standing in a line. But then, suddenly, a big plane landed. It was very big and long. It was very high from the ground. But it has a small staircase to climb into the plane. And the plane was not like the early one. But it has small, small doors to enter into it. And the entrance was tiny and small. That it cannot contain any other thing with someone to enter the plane. As the plane landed, every one of us that were waiting for the transport was surprised to see a big plane instead of a train. Everyone that was waiting for the plane was surprised to see a big plane instead of a train. The pilot of the plane was a white man and he was in a captain uniform. So, as the plane landed, the door like corridor that demarcates people from the way to the plane just opened on its own and people started rushing towards the direction of the plane. But the people are not that plenty. I saw our daughter Esther and our son Rafael. Esther was very happy. She was the first person that rushed toward the direction of the plane. Other people joined. But my attention was on my two children to make sure they enter and not fall. Esther entered the plane without any difficulties there. I just told her to be careful. It was when she entered that I saw the entrance was very small and tiny. Now, I have to go to another entrance. But it was tiny too. But I made sure Raphael was able to enter. As Raphael entered the plane, I was saying in my heart, Lord, it remains me. God, please help me to enter the plane. As the pilot was about to take off, I entered the plane and I shout, Glory, hallelujah. My dear, rapture will soon take place. And the Lord is coming with the angels to take the saint home. Please, dear, let's take it to the world, please. And let us amend our way. Please, dear, we need it now. said it. Since you started the Epistle, too, you were narrating. I knew where you were going to land. <laughs> See, all these things are all fantasy. Fantasy? I knew you were tired. You needed rest. No, there's huh? okay. <laughs> I said it. I knew last night you had malaria. You took malaria drugs. So that's why I knew. That what you had is not a vision. It's just a nightmare. You call this a nightmare? Yes. Yes, of course. Because I knew from the onset when you started your documentary, you dreamt about a plane. Because it has been your dream to travel out of this country, which I believe and I know the Lord will do for you very soon. Mm. It is white men that drive plane. So that's why I think you are always being enthusiastic about them. And that's why you saw what you saw. I mean, you've been missing your two children for a long time. That was why you saw them inside that revelation. Don't worry. When day breaks, I promise you will call your children, you will hear their voice. You know that they are fine where they are. Don't worry. Yeah. Yes. Is this really the interpretation of the dream? Oh, yes. Nothing more. I have to cop daddy tomorrow. I know what to do. So be it. Jesus Christ is coming in the cloud. Prepare yourself now. Jesus Christ is coming in the cloud. That was the revelation, sir. Yes, sir.
that was not an ordinary revelation. We thank God, the Lord of hosts, who has shown you what is about to happen on earth. Just like John Beloved was in the island of Patmos, and the Lord sent the angels to reveal unto him the event of the end time. Likewise, God has revealed unto you by himself the event that is about to take place on the head, which is the rapture of the saints. The flight you saw represents the rapture. The man you saw driving it, it is the archangel. The people you saw waiting are the people who prepare themselves for the Lord. And that will be the rapture when the Lord is about to appear. Rhoda, this is not the time to compromise. As I am talking with you, I am in a place because of the Antichrist soldiers. Okay? Please, Rhoda, hold on to the profession of your faith in Christ to the end and don't compromise your faith in God. Encourage your husband also not to compromise. Which kind of revelation is this one again? That will stop Rhoda from signing the documents again? Oh my God, I'm in trouble. What will I do now? <sighs> You must sign this form. I won't take this from you. Please. I mean, what is so difficult in doing this? Today is the deadline. It remains few hours to the time this thing will, will be up. What's so difficult in it? Please, dear. Listen to me, please. Okay, I'm listening. Listen to my heart cry. I'm all yes. I cannot sign the document. So why, I if I may ask? You that you have signed it. You have the chance to cancel it and surrender yourself for punishment. Then you still have the grace. Please, I can't sign the document. Hey, Please. see whom I'm trying to persuade to do something. Trying to tell me to revert what I've done. Okay, if indeed I'm your husband, Sign this form now. Don't do this, please. I can't sign the document. I cannot. What? I cannot sign the document. I know she can't sign the form. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Did I not? She can't. She won't sign it. Deep you. Yes. You located this place. <laughs> Are you How surprised? Managed? How manage? Don't be surprised. This is a new place. We left the former place. How did you manage to locate the address of the new place? Don't tell me you're surprised. I am. <laughs> you don't need to be surprised. The peace agreement form you signed has a centralized code that shows and reveals anywhere you are. And with this, we were able to locate your new place hey. because my officers has gone to your old place. What? Do you think you can hide? There's no hiding place for you. And as for your wife, since she has refused to sign the peace agreement form, I have no choice than to arrest her. Ha ah. ha! Sergeant! Stop! Ah, 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 please! Had I known, I wouldn't have allowed the short pleasure of this moment to rob me of the eternal home of the saints. <sighs> if I had known, I would have had her. Again. Oh, 
I'm ready to follow in the way here. Ah, ah, ah. See, see where Glutone has led me to. I, I was concerned about what to wear, and what to eat. Getting a stay from someone. <laughs> Tell her, please. Oh. oh my god. But you see, stay three seconds. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. I was busy with every other thing that should have been added. Let the kingdom of God. <laughs> I'm in serious trouble. Ah. Pastor Alex warned. Ah. Even Pastor Eddie here in Nigeria warned me. He warned us. Oh my God. Ah. Angela, please. Ah. Yeah. What will I do? What will I do? What will I do? I was warned. I was worried about the danger of end times. Ah, I saw it coming. I tell I saw it that told me. I was awesome. Oh my god. I don't know. I found everything you said. Everything you said. It's true. It's just that. Just that what? No. Just that what? Mm. You just like it that we'll go back to penury or what? You that everybody is envious of in the church. Some people want to be in your position, some don't even like you at all. And you want to throw everything away. Because of what? Ah. Even the word of God may not understand that everyone helps those who help themselves. Now we are we have received help from heaven. All we need to do is just to enjoy it. And this is what you want to do. Throw it away. We have the backing of heaven and you want to just throw it away. Go, 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 go. Let's just go back. I, I know. It's just that physically I'm very afraid. But within me, I have this peace flowing in my heart. Was that's, that's what you are supposed to say. That is the end thing. Oh. You have peace of mind and you, are, you have joy. That's the most important thing. Yes. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. If you have that, that settles it. All this physical uh, fear, I'm afraid, I'm disturbed that you're feeling. It's just because of what is happening all around us and the wrong doctrine of uh, Pastor Henry all over you. Yes. I know that. I'm not going to get kidnapped. And you won't either. So, that joy is what I'm happy about. Yeah, I'm happy now that you have joy. You have peace. You have, uh, yeah, that's the most important thing. My that's the work of Holy Spirit. Oh, my <laughs> you and your mouth then. Eh? Oh. Hmm? Okay. Yeah, now you are talking. Okay. That's the most important thing. Okay. So, can we go into sleep now? Mm, yes. I'm a little bit really but uh, don't bought anything. Let's go. Ah, okay. Oh! I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. <sighs> Pastor Alex. He will always say it! He will say it! I was too arrogant. I was too arrogant. I won't listen. Ah, my lord. Ah, he will have gone. Maybe I should go. Brother Andrew, Brother Andrew. Brother Andrew. Hmm. Ah, he's ringing. Maybe he didn't make it. If he picks it, there's trouble. Hello, Brother Andrew. You didn't make it too? Yes, I am here. Oh, this is big trouble. So you didn't go? Yes, oh brother Festus. Come and see me. 
I miss the coming of the Lord because of my secret sins. <laughs> Despite all the warning of Pastor Alex, but I never listened. I thought the days is still far, but that I would be able to make amendment. But see me now, the Lord came when no man expected it. <laughs> pastor Festus, what happened? But you are a pastor. Why did you miss the rapture? Why? What explanation do you think I would give? Just as it happened to you, same way here. I was too busy. Busy with things of life. You told me longer throat. I was too heady. Now I've missed it. Now I've missed it. Ah. Ah, what will I do? <laughs> yeah. What about Pastor Alex? Have you seen him around? Pastor Alex made it all. Oh. Oh, oh. Just like Angela. Angela made it too. We are left alone. We are left alone. What do we do now? Pastor Festus, it is better we make up our minds and give it all that it will take. See, this time around, we must not receive the full mark of the beast. <laughs> you know what is injuring his ring has been taken away from the way. <sighs> the saints have gone with the Lord. <laughs> See, <clears throat> we are left to face the wrath and the reign of the Antichrist now. The way you are even saying it is... He's, he's talking about it. he said the saint. I, I was I was a saint. Yeah, but, ah. Oh God. What, what, what do we do now? Eh? Eh? Pastor Festus, it is going to be tough. Oh, it will be hard. Uh, it will be rough and difficult. Uh, but we must endure so as to make it this time around. We must make sure we do not receive the mark of the beast, nor worship the beast. Ah, <sighs> yeah. it's okay. I just don't know how to go about this. If I have opportunity of traveling back now and come over there, at least we will rub my dad be able to be together. But no more flight because of the commotion. Ha! Huh. I'm in trouble. Uh, I'll, I'll call you back, sir. I'll, I'll call you back. <laughs> <laughs> so, my dear, I'm back. Oh, you're welcome. I'm very sorry I came late, sir. And what are you doing? Just trying to prepare something. So oh, I didn't see. Oh, you. But you will have checked the fridge for some snacks. <sighs> oh, you know me. You know I won't eat alone until you are here. Ah. I was just thinking of uh, let's put something. Till you come before you prepare dinner. Oh, thanks so much, dear, for your love. Mm. I pray nothing separates us in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. So, how was Bible study today? Ah! I yeah. hope Pastor Henry did not push those ash words into your head again. Ah, no, dear. The Bible study of today was so powerful. Ooh, that I even forgot that time has come. Ah. How are you rushing on? You should have waited and even slept there. Oh, since it was so powerful. Oh dear. Oh, but well, the truth is that the Bible story of today was so powerful. It was hard. But it is the truth. Mm. My dear. Yes. Pastor Henry's teaching of today, according to the word of God, is about the rapture and the end time. Mm. Yes. Pastor Henry said, according to the word of God, that there are some things that will be happening at this end time, before the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, now that we have the grace, we should all amend our ways before the Lord. That after the rapture, I mean my dear, after the saints has been taken up, there will be great tribulation. And it will be very difficult for anyone that remains on earth to make it. 
Mm -hmm. Yes, dear. Uh, where are you going now? My dear, where are you going? Nothing. Nowhere. Uh, what I'm telling you is the truth. I learned a lot from this Bible study of today. It's about second coming of Christ and some events that will be happening before the coming of Christ. The Bible study of today was so powerful that I was convinced and I rededicated my life to Christ. And I promised the Lord that I'm going to live in holiness and righteousness and prepare myself for the second coming of Christ and the taking up of the saints. Angela! Angela! Yes, dear? What is wrong with you? Nothing. Are you bewitched? No. I know. You are bewitched. Obviously, you are bewitched by Pastor Henry. What is wrong with you? You know the word of God. Why are you allowing him to turn your head up, upside down? Yes. I, 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 don't, don't let me believe you are one of the people Apostle Paul was talking about. About the foolish Galatians. What is wrong with you? Nothing. Is that the reason why we are in this country? Something is definitely wrong with you. My dear, nothing is wrong with me. It is the word of God. Angela. Yes, dear. Angela. Yes, dear. Angela. Yes, dear. Two of them. Oh. Sit up, play. Oh. I'm into this. Yes. Oh, 54. This is 54. Yeah. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him. What am I doing? What am I doing? Verse says, Seek the Lord why he may be found. Where will I find the Lord when the Lord turns up? Ah, I'm in big trouble. You see? Who, who, who is bewitched now? Who is bewitched now? Myself, I am bewitched. Reading my book. <laughs> What would I do? I'm the one. Don't face this suffering, all of you. I'm the one. Food of the Ah. Ah. Could have been. Would I run back to France? Or would I go? Or would I go? Everybody's afraid of the problems. I am not if anybody will fly in this plane right now. Oh. Oh. What would I do? What would I do? What would I do? Brethren, this time we are now. It is the time to take heed and to be careful so that not to be distracted or diverted. Many things are happening in the world now and many are still to come. But our focus should be on God, on our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Everything happening now are all written in the book of Revelation. That is why our focus now should be on the author and the finisher of our faith. And we must prepare ourselves ready so as not to miss the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. I will pray, brethren. Father, in the name of Jesus, ancient of days, we worship you this month, this day for your word that we have had. We pray, O oh God, that we shall have a good seed in us, in Jesus' mighty name. And when you shall come for your second coming, we will make a rapture in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, we should go to the church. Maybe he missed it too. Ah. Maybe I will just find the Lord.
For how long? Will I keep hiding in this house? Very soon the soldiers would locate me and take me away. My wife and children, they have gone with the Lord. Oh, my greed for money has led me to where I am now. I thought my money could save me. But look at it. My money can't save me now. My money is useless. Without my signature on the peace agreement form. Hmm. My pastor warned me. My pastor warned me. But I thought my donations to the work of God could bribe God. Oh, I'm a failure, a big failure, I'm a failure, oh. Yeah, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Ha ha ha! I'm in trouble. Everybody in Passeri Church is gone. They are gone. Why would they go? He's always preaching the truth. Ha ah, ah. I'm in trouble. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Ha ah, ha! Ah. <sighs> Oh, I am doomed. The only encounter I had with Pastor Henry, he told me that this world was going to come to an end. But I was blinded. Blinded by my money, affluence and position. Oh, this is beyond me. But I don't know if Pastor Henry was also raptured. Let me check. Let me get to his church and check. Righteousness to make me miss the rapture. Oh God, God. Ah, ah, Lizzie, Lizzie, I forgive you. Lizzie, Lizzie, I forgive you. I forgive you. Ah. Oh. Oh, This is trouble. Jesus, how cold. What are you doing here? I came looking for Pastor Henry so I can hide somewhere in church. Which way you have to look for Pastor Henry? Is he around? You know him. He will have gone. He will have gone. Yeah. This is real. This is real. 
Ah, this is real. Ah, 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 how is Sister Angela? Is she at home? Is she safe? I hope she's safe. I hope she's safe. Angela is gone too. Angela made it. She made it. And we are here. Ah. 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 It's no longer a dream. We are here. This is trouble. Ah. Ah. Ah, that's the best of That's the best of this. Hey, hey, see the way you are shaking. Please calm down. Calm down. My friend. This uh, is the time for uh, us to hold on to the profession of our faith. This is the time for us to not to compromise at all. Eh? Pastor Festus, are you hearing me? I'm yes. afraid. Let's brace I'm up. I'm afraid. Let's brace up for the great tribulation that is about to happen. Let's brace up. Let's brace up. Okay. Hey. What do we do now? Where do we, where do we go to? So I think we just need to look for a safe. Yeah! 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 It's chief! It's chief! It's chief! It's chief! Oh. oh my god! So this rapture is real. So the coming of the Lord is real. I would have listened to the true word of God from that sister that used to come and preach to us. But I did not listen. I was enticed by the, by the sweet preaching. I literally have got some gaps. I was deceived by the deceit of the end time. Oh God. I made a mistake with what I did to that sister. Ah, good evening, my beloved sister. So I bring us to you the good news. And the good news is about our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus loves you. The word of God says in the book of John 3.16 that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. What God wants for you is everlasting life. And this everlasting life, my dear beloved sister, it can only be found in Christ. It is in Christ that is everlasting life. The word of God says, Christ in me, hope of glory. It is Christ that is in you, that we bring the glory of God that is in you. How? Come to Jesus Christ today. The word of God says in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 13, that says, Enter ye at the straight gate, because wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many people are walking on this broad way. My dear sister, the broad way, that almost everyone is walking on is the way that leads to hell. But the narrow way is the way that leads to hell. And the way is Jesus Christ. The word of God says, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. The way that you will walk on, that you will take, that will lead you to hell, is Jesus Christ. The life that you need to have eternal life is Jesus Christ. Yes, but I know they do this Jesus thing at all, at all. I'm not they tell me that. Okay. Which one is calm down? Leave me alone, Joe. It makes sense now. Oh, it makes sense. It should be hot. Uh-uh. I know they do. I know they do that. I hear you, Daddy. My dear sister, yes. Like I was saying, Jesus Christ is the truth. The truth that we have to know is only Jesus Christ. The word of God says we should know the truth. And the truth can set us free. Satan does not want anyone to know the truth. That was why he always blocked people from coming to Christ. Because Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. My dear sister, accept him today to have this internal life. Jesus Christ is coming very soon. We are living at the very end time. We have many things are happening around the world. And it's only people that are in Christ that are secured out of Christ. It's full of crisis. But when Christ is in you, you have the peace of God. Please give your life to Christ. Do you believe in Christ? Yes, I do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that was how I missed the opportunity to be saved. My friend, my friend grabbed the opportunity. She was saved and then she made rapture. Our case is like that of the two thieves that were hanged with Jesus on the cross. He saw him on the cross and he was saved. And he was in paradise with him that same day. The second one 
miss the golden opportunity. And so is my case. Oh God! Jesus, I am ready now. I am ready to accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Help me. Help me. Lady Evangelist, where are you? I'm ready. Oh God. Lady Evangelist. Where are you? Come. Oh, this rapture is real. See how people just go disappear as we are torturing them. Even what pains me most is the woman that came from abroad. The more I torture her, she still has the confidence to preach to me. Ha! Rapture. Hey, come here! Come here! Come here! Hey, come here! Nidia! 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 This woman, I learned that you came from abroad. Why can't you sign the peace agreement for and go back to abroad? Go and meet your husband. See, a lot of people like you that refuse to sign this form. They have signed it secretly without allowing their pastor and their leaders to know about it. Sign this agreement form and go back. Go and meet your husband. Go and meet your husband. My brother, why not give your life to Christ? Before the, the saints have been captured away, it is not too late now. You are still talking. I will torture you. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is coming in the cloud. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Right in my eyes. The woman just disappeared. And she was taken away with the saint. Ah. Oh my God. What will I do now? And I'm not like this before. If not because of unemployment that makes me join army. God, help me. Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. Help me. Help me. Help me. <sighs> Brethren, I, I really want us to be very strong at this time. I need us to be courageous. I, I, I can tell what is going on right now in our mind, but hey, we are here. Uh, 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 we must be ready for the great tribulation that is coming. Ah! Uh, 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 Pastor Festus. <laughs> Now is the time to fight. Now is the time to fight with our blood. Now is the time to hold on to the profession of our faith. Oh. Hey, one thing we must refuse to do right now is that we should not take the mark of the beast. Hey, you know that once you take that mark, the mark of the beast, that's eternal condemnation for us. You don't want to experience that. You don't want to repeat the same mistake that brought us to this point. Please, let's brace up. Let's brace up. Please, don't compromise. Don't give up. I don't know. I don't know why I allowed myself to be deceived by Pastor Babs. <laughs> I don't know why I joined this church. Oh my god, and I missed it all. <laughs> I miss everything I missed. <laughs> Madam, I should be the one regretting the most. 
I wasted the grace. The grace that was given to me. I allowed myself to be blinded by money. And look at. Started seeking Jesus. When he could no longer be found. <laughs> when I had the opportunity. Uh, I wasted the grace. Wasted it. Angela, Angela. You will rot here without taking the mark. You cannot go free. Here we go. Here we go. Baba Dashegun, I have a question that has been bothering my mind and I need to ask. What is the difference between rapture and the second coming of Christ? Or what just happened? Is that a rapture? Or are we still expecting the second coming of Christ? So that I'll be prepared for what is going to happen. Uh, uh, I, I think I have a response to that. Because Angela told me so much about this. Oh, that I wouldn't listen. Ah, my dear, I never knew rapture and second coming are two events in one. Mm. It was during the Bible study of today that I knew that second coming and rapture are two events in one. Pastor Harry said this uh, rapture, uh, the rapture, second coming, and the great tribulation. I've caused a lot of arguments among Bible scholars, theologians, and believers. And he said, according to the word of God, that second coming of Christ and rapture are two events in one. Mm. That what we are passing through right now is tribulation. But after Christ appears and the saints have been taken up, there will be great tribulation. According to the word of God in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 20 to 22, that except those days are shortened, there will not be there will be no man that will be saved. My dear, I learned a lot from the teaching of today again. No. Sincerely, I never knew. Pastor Henry said rapture is the taking up of the saints. Why second coming of Christ is what we make rapture to happen. My dear. Yes, dear. Everything is pastorally said. Pastorally said. Pastorally yes, said. Because I'm learning a lot from Pastor Henry. And I've decided that I'm going to prepare myself, my dear. I will give it all it takes to prepare myself well for the coming of the Lord. Mm. And I'm telling you because I don't want you to be left out. I want us together to make it when Christ shall appear. Second coming of Christ is when Christ shall appear on the sky to take the saints home. According to the word of God in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 29 to 31, that he will send his angel to the four corners of the earth to gather the saints together. And you know, my dear, rapture is the corruptible body taking up the incorruptible body that is the rapture my dear that taking up eh, like a twinkle of an eye that is the rapture according to the word of god in the book of uh Thessalonians, you can see it there because uh pastor henry quoted that one too from the scripture my dear yes dear i i see that everything is pastor henry rapture second coming you have so much passion for this second coming and rapture now yeah, because that's that, that that's what we need now i wish you can channel this same passion into our mission in this country this is not the reason why we have come to nigeria huh? i wish you can channel the same energy into our mission so that we are successful My yeah, because your sentence is just three now if it's not about rapture it's about second coming or Pastor Henry. My dear, you just you just have to understand my feelings and what I'm telling you. See, I, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. 
I have decided mm. to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. My dear, just to let you to know tomorrow I'm going out for evangelism. You see this fire that is burning inside me i want everybody to know fire burning in my soul holy ghost fire that is burning inside me right now i want to tell the world so for them also to prepare themselves for for rapture for the taking off of the saints for second coming of christ and the event that will be happening before the second coming of christ so my dear i'm going out for evangelism tomorrow okay no problem i heard you can i play my music now yes you can thank you Oh, Angela, Angela, Angela. Jesus Christ is coming in the cloud. I hope you now understand, right? Yes, sir. Excuse me. I understand all what people have been saying. But the issue is, what is our faith now? What is our faith? Uh, Chief, I, I believe uh, our only hope now is for us not to take the mark of the beast. Yes, that's the only hope we have. Oh. I, I, I don't think there is anything else we can do except us refusing to take the mark of the beast. I think we should pray. Let's pray that God will help us. God will help us pull through this. Let's, let's, let's pray to God. Only God can help us now. Only God can give us the strength we need. Hallelujah. Oh. This to mark again. This to mark again. Yeah. Oh God. Oh. Where are we going to get something to eat now? Yeah. We have to find a way to to sneak to the house and maybe beg those people around us if we can get bread. But if they catch us, hi. I will go with Prashego. Can you imagine me? You were evangelist. I'm afraid to even go to my own house. Ah. Angela warned me. Angela warned me. <laughs> Do you know what Holy Spirit taught me this morning during my first time? When I was studying the Bible? Not here. We are here for a mission. This is our own mission in Nigeria. To get a pastor to minister. Please, don't put that out here. But I just remember that. And I can't, I can't be keeping everything Holy Spirit is teaching me. So my service, you are my husband. Oh my God. I have to share everything with you too. As soon as it comes, mm -hmm. it ends. Okay. It was when I was reading the Bible from the book of Revelation, chapter 20. Holy Spirit taught me a lot of things. You know. Holy Spirit expanded that word in my heart. But the new one that was really placed on my heart was that one, verse 4. Okay. It was this morning that I discovered again that Christians are going to witness a tribulation. Do you know in that verse 4, the Bible talked about those people that are beheaded because of the word of God, because of the testimony of what they, they held onto, and those people that did not receive the mark of Antichrist after tribulation. Angela, Angela, Angela. Please, let me... Take it easy, take it easy. Something is definitely wrong here. You are simply operating under the 
It's the wrong doctrine that these people have brought into your head. Why are you doing this? These pastors, they are here in Nigeria. I know the problem here is more than where we're coming from. They practically pray for light, water, everything. Some people even pray before they put food into their mouths. Please. And that, that dictates the hardship in how they preach and what they look for. God is not this difficult. You know it. And you know, the Bible made this very clear. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, uh, it should be verse 6. Verse 6, yes. That we, Christians, are the ones withholding the Antichrist. As soon as we're taken off, as soon as there's rapture, the Antichrist will be released. But as it is, there is nothing called tribulation. What you see is just a normal occurrence. <coughs> no, no. No, my dear, I don't believe that. I don't agree with you. It's not Christian. So what is it? Divine timing. Our Lord Jesus Christ will appear when the time, when it is time. Oh, my dear. See? Yes. We are getting things wrong. Okay, let me cite this example. Okay. You read the Bible. Look at Noah. And he wants God, God angry with the whole world. Mm -hmm. And he made up his mind to destroy him with water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, he singularly sit in Noah <laughs> and his family. Yes. And you know what is true? But he saved Noah and his family. Mm -hmm. okay. So, okay. Look at this one too. Lot. Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed by fire. Mm -hmm. But God saved Lot and his family from it. So, God is set to save us. <laughs> out of everything before there will be tribulation before tribulation will come before people will start feeling any pain we Christians and our family would have been saved with rapture that's where tribulation will come all these things you feel there is around now it's just good examples of bad leadership or well, result of technology and go my god i i do not agree with you that one. Noah that we put it from the Bible. Do you know that Noah witnessed revelation? Okay, the flood. Shh, take it easy. Uh -huh. Noah that we put it witnessed the flood. It was his obedience to God's word and the instruction of God that saved him, his children, his household, and every living creation that entered the entered the, the, the happy with him. Do you think it is easy for a man to be on, on his spot for 40 days and 40 nights? Noah yielded to the warning of the Lord. Noah obeyed the word of God. That was what saved him and his household. Uh -huh. And yes, and this is, this is the kind of warning that is going on around the world now. To warn the people in the world, to warn everyone about the coming of Christ and the danger of end times. Even our Lord Jesus Christ told us in the book of Matthew 24 that his coming will be like the days of Noah, that they were marrying, marrying. Giving us a marriage. Oh, is that tribulation? No, my, my dear, let me, let me, let me. Until the day when the flood came and swallowed and destroyed all of them. It was only Noah and his household and every living creation that entered the ark with him that were saved. My dear, this is the kind of obedience that God is requesting, requesting for from us, Christians at this time, so as to be able to overcome all this tribulation that will happen. Mm -hmm. Yes, before before the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Tribulation. Yes, and that's Lord that we quoted again. Do you know that Lord witness our tribulation? Do you think it, it is convenient for a man to lose everything that he has ever worked for, his property, his wife? Do you know that his wife couldn't endure that tribulation? That was why she looked back and she became a pillar of salt. You know, witness tribulation, my dear. He lost everything. It's only the grace of God that saved him. You see me as I'm sitting now, I've made up my mind. You know the Bible says, you that are saved, arise for the salvation of others. And that we should save our souls from this untoward generation. My dear, I can't keep this thing to myself in you. So, in essence, you are saying I am unsaved, right? 
That, that is what you're talking about. That I must say. This is wrong of you to say. Oh, no, no, save me. Madam teacher, save me now. That's not what I'm saying, but there is this fire burning in my heart. Fire burning in my soul. And this fire I cannot keep it to myself, you know. Uh, people over there must hear everything that I've learned from Pastor Henry's teaching and everything that Holy Spirit is teaching me now. My dear, I can't keep it to myself. Fire burning in my soul. Oh Holy Ghost fire. Oh my God. Pensy Costa fire. Fire burning in my soul. So something is different here with my life. Uh, and there's a need for me to reset this. Something is strong. Wrong with you. <laughs> uh, am I saying? No. What is it? What is it? No, we have observed. I will not be here. I've done everything. I even camouflaged my face so that it would not catch me. I'm busy. I was taking too much. <laughs> yeah! Now. Oh. What will I do? Everything is wrong. <laughs> I just wish there is a TV here. Just to see everything going on for me, kids. That was stuck. That was stuck. <laughs> We bring you updates of the peace accord. This is simply the signing of a form to acquire the peace sign. As you can see, I have acquired mine. Without this mark, it will not be easy for you to buy or sell. This mark identifies you as a citizen. So I would advise that you get yours so that things will be smooth and easy for you. Also, we have updates of the disappearance of some people that happened some time ago, which was tagged rapture the great one has assured us is something not to worry about it is simply the activities of some religious fanatics kidnapping their own people and claiming to be something that it is not so not to worry the authorities and the government are already on their tails to bring them to justice <laughs> i thought as much how can the rapture take place just like that so these so-called holy holy people, they are just tricking us. They went in a place to hide themselves. Oh. <laughs> My dear. Dear. Dear, what is this? Oh. Why did you come in an horrible and terrifying way like this? You don't believe it. I'm just listening to the news. Let me tell you. The, the rapture of the things is not real. Yes. It is not real. Let me tell you. They went in an hidden place to hide themselves. Are, are we not a Christian? Yeah. It's not like that. Remember that the Bible says at the end, people will be deceived. They themselves have been deceived. And it's just the seeds of devil. For those people that have missed the second coming of Jesus Christ. Please, dear, don't let us be deceived. Don't take the mark. Dear, let me tell you one thing. I've made up my mind to go and get this mark. As right said by the great one, I want you to join me. Dear, please, don't go. Don't take the mark. Dear, what? Jesus, just help me. You are telling me to endure? Endure what? <sighs> when I know the truth already. Even the Bible tells us that. You will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. Why can't you join us there? So that we get this together and get delivered. Dear. If we can endure this period, we will soon get over. Please, don't go. Hey, Lord, she just, just have mercy on me.
Oh, 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 oh. It's not safe anyway. It's not safe here again. What happened? What happened? <laughs> we heard on our way that the soldiers are finally going from house to house. Oh! So it's possible they might soon get here. So we, we, we got something for us to eat. We just, we just bought something. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ is coming in the cloud. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ is coming in the cloud. Oh God! Jesus Christ is coming in the cloud. Ah, Bingbe. Brother. Brother. Ah, where are you coming from? I'm asking you where you are going to, and you are still asking me. I said, where are you going to? But it's just a question now. A question? Where are you off to? Actually, I'm going for evangelism, as you can see. Evangelism to who? Coolly, of course. Uh, what do you expect? Bimpe, you are going for evangelism in Kule's place, and you are even dressed like this. But how? Look, there's some people just even asking me how. What if, in the course of you preaching in Kule's place, something else happens and the trumpet sounds? <laughs> See, you are laughing. <laughs> are you sure that you are going to make it? Uh, Hundred percent sure. Hey, uh, brother, I don't like all this. Please, it's just too early for all this. Bimpe, please tell me, where are you learning all these fables and all these false doctrines from? From my number one pastor, Pastor Babs. What do you expect? <laughs> you know what? You don't expect me to follow all these your false doctrine, this old <laughs> region. Ah, come on. Ah, you know what? You need to upgrade yourself. I, I, can't, I can't do it anymore. It's getting me tired. Bimpe, or I'm glad you don't love you. Bimpe, Eshimile. Maybe and others are gone, gone. <laughs> My knee. Oh God. <laughs> hmm. And the Lord warned me. The Lord in His mercies warned me. He gave me that revelation. He spoke through the mouth of that little baby girl. Ah, how are you, Mama? Baby girl, how are you? <laughs> how are you? I don't want to talk before, but now I must talk. Change from your evil way. The judgment of God will soon start from the church. The judgment of God is coming upon the church. Change from your evil ways. Jesus is coming very soon. Change from your evil ways. Jesus is coming very soon. Change from your evil ways. Jesus is coming very soon. I didn't know the meaning of that revelation there until it happened. I didn't know its meaning until the rapture took place. Ah. He warned me. He warned me through the little girl that I should mend my ways before his judgment would come. But I never did. I never did. Ah. And the rapture suddenly took place. The lucky ones were the ones that went with the rapture. They were the lucky ones. The rest of us, the rest of us, we just have to bear the consequences. The consequences of the emergence of the Antichrist. Ha! have to start running health as now. 
Lord, what do I do? Hello, who is this? I'm one of the ministers of the new government, and we are trying to organize and arrange how this government will work out well, and how it will be a blessing to the majority of the people. I will need someone like you. It was someone that gave me your contacts, and that's why I called. Okay. Okay, sir. So, so what can I do for you, sir? Yes, we need your service. If someone like you serve as an informant, you will be paid and rewarded for it. Please, can you explain better, sir? Yes, we need you to give us all the necessary information about all the churches that is around you. That is in the place we have from the research that you are the current secretary and you have all the necessary information. <sighs> you are right, sir. I am the Khan secretary. And I have all the information you are talking about. Uh, but, but please, sir, may I know what you want to do with this information? You know, we heard some of them are gathering some people together and training them not to obey the rules and the regulations of the Great One. And they are teaching them not to receive the mark. So we need all this information so as to trace them and to know whether the information is true or not. Hey. Hmm. All right, sir. I, I, I'll, I'll get all the information you need across to you by tomorrow, sir. Okay, thank you, Pastor. Can you please send me your account details for the first payment, taking the transfer of 5 million naira into your account first thing tomorrow morning. After you have done the work perfect, you will make another transfer of 5 million naira to seal the deal. Uh, uh, hello, sir. Did you say 5, five, five million naira? Yes, 5 million naira, sir. Sir, you, you will get the information first thing tomorrow. In fact, I will go a bit further, sir. I will help you to trace all those who have refused to take the mark. Wherever they are hiding, I will help you to trace them, sir. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Pastor. Yes, sir. The higher the work, the higher the payments. Wow. Ah, it is done already, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Ah. Every day there, I just like that. Wow. Mommy. Mama Jide. Mommy, I know you are in this house. I know you can hear me. Mommy. I will find you today. I will definitely find you today. Mama Jide. Mommy. So this is where you are hiding. Nice one, Mommy. Very soon now, the soldier will come for you. Mommy, I'm telling you all this for your own interest. Pastor Harry, you quoted all the time. We not come back and save you. Even me, your son, I cannot save you. Do I'm a soldier? Mommy, you are on your own. Receive this mark. Thank you, Jesus! 
This Jesus at my top. Jesus that has gone taking these people the way. Hello, Minister. I just made a transfer of 5 million naira into your account right now. Another one will come in tomorrow. What we need from you is to cooperate with us and do the work exactly the way I told you to. You will surely enjoy this green government. Alright, sir. What else can I do? I'm already committed. Since you've already done your own part of the deal, I'll do my best to do mine. Thank you so much, Pastor. We will see you next time. Thank you, Minister. <laughs> What will I do now? This boy, Jide, has joined the new government. Very soon now, he will expose me. I know this kind of boy. Oh my God. My pastor warned me to genuinely give my life to Christ, but I refused. Those times I was going to Bible study, but my mind was not on the teaching. The marital problem that I was passing through was what on my mind. But all I wanted at that time was how my husband would come back to me. I never for once prepared for the second coming of our Lord. I was looking forward every day for my earthly husband to return. And now my heavenly husband came and I missed it. I am one of the foolish virgins that has no extra oil in their lamp. Oh! oh. I missed it. Things are becoming hard and hard now. No food to eat. And no water to drink. The water to every house without a cold has been disconnected. Nobody can do anything without a coat and a mark. <sighs> and our pastor told us <laughs> that whoever received this mark is doomed for life. <laughs> what will I do now? Good day, my people. I summon this meeting because of the message I got from the Great One. Okay? And uh, the urgency of this meeting is because our religion is moving, moving back. And as it is, the Great One has given us a message that we should try as much as possible to convince more people to join our religion. That is one. Number two, our religion must at least move forward and overtake 
all those new religions. So, as far as this meeting is concerned, we must make sure we convince more people. So, get yourself ready for tonight's meeting. Let's pay allegiance to the Great One. We 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 pay allegiance to the Great One. You are welcome to this great and important meeting. We just want to hear the outcome of what we discussed last time. The decision and the plans and how to implement it to carry out the assignment of the Great One. Yeah, thank you for inviting us, Minister. Thank you so much. Um, we've discussed behind the scene, and um, at the end of the day, we are able to come out with some cogent um, ideas. Um, one, we all know that these people won't want to bow for the image of the Great One. They will see it as idolatry. So we plan to craft some materials like rosary, calendars, phones, social media entities. And this will enable us to achieve our aims. How do you mean? What I mean is this. All those items mentioned, we are going to craft the image of the Great One inside it, and of which the code and an automatic alarm is also inserted to those items. So, whenever we want to worship the Great One, there will be an alarm. Everyone will hear and they will bow to worship the Great One. And it's a mandated code that everyone must have. It is compulsory to bow down for the Great One. And whoever that fails to take the code or bow down for the Great One, one, such a person will be dealt with severely. Such a person won't have access to banking halls. Such a person won't be able to buy and sell. And such fellow's life will be so miserable. Hmm. Great. What an excellent work we have done so far. Uh, we are going to use our securities and soldiers to carry out the plans of the Great Wars. Exactly. Um, in fact, I will also suggest that we carry the youth along. I will advise that we involve the youth massively because they do say that youth are the strength of the nation. Hmm. So I will suggest that we carry them along and even involve them massively. This is a great idea. It will work. Most especially in a time like this, when the world economy is down, there is no job. We will put out an advert recruiting youth of youth age range into the army with a robust and enticing salary. That's a great idea. Hmm. I will inform the great one and the other minister about this. Your honor will be sent to you privately. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Minister. Good evening, viewers at home. This is your news at seven. Baba Jide Tosin is your newscaster. The new government under the administration of the Great One has made clear some of its vision and mission. The new government under the administration of the Great One has built many centers where people that have signed the peace agreement can easily go and take their identification as the member under the administration of the Great One. The identification is a symbol and a mark of identification for everyone under the new government. And to make it easier for people, this identification and symbol are in form of material like bangles, necklace, rosary, calendars, and posters, head caps, and scarf. And on every of these items and materials is the image and the number of the Great One. And it is compulsory for everyone to get this material so as to be bona fide member and citizen of this new government under the administration of the Great One. The news reaching us 
from the office of the great one is like homosexuality and lesbianism is now legalized. Drinking and smoking of India hemp and cocaine is now legalized. Prostitution too is now legalized and the new government has promised to build an hotel for people that are into prostitution so that they can openly go into them. And the new government will be paying them salary at the end of the month. Therefore, a link and a site has been created for those who are interested in prostitution to visit and to apply for a job as a prostitute. The site and the link is the one showing on the screen. There is now job opportunity for young people who are interested in military, soldiers and security. A site and a link has been created for young people that has interest to visit and to apply for the job. Kindly look on the screen for the site and the link. Many, many recreation centers has been built by new government so as to cater for the need of the people all over the world. You can easily visit one of the recreation centers and their staffs will attend to you. This is our news at 7. Bye. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my, this is our time. The team we have been doing in the secret because of the fear of men. Ha! Oh my. It has been finally legalized. I beg, give me my laptop. Let me check. Yeah, let me do my registration. Oh, my phone is Because you don't know where this government is heading to. It's becoming more lawless and lawless every day. My friend, I'm telling you. What people say abominable is what the government is promoting nowadays. Please, my friend. Please. Are you done? Mm. Thank you. Finally, since all these days, ah, since these years that I've been a graduate, ah, okay, well, I'll finally get a job. Ah, okay, well, these government people, they are really doing well. They are doing well. They are the real answers to my prayer. Ah, I think the next thing for me to do now is to go and do my registration so I can be able to join them for the next campaign. Ah, thank you, God. Okay, well, ah, this is a real celebration for me. Ah, I, I appreciate, I appreciate. Let me go and do my registration. Ah. So I'm tired. Well, I'm going to take the mark off. Ah. Ah. ah, no, no, now. Brethren, please. Please. See, this is the time we have been waiting for. Uh, we, we must not give up at this time. Oh. Eh? We need to hold on to the confession of our faith. We need not to compromise what we believe. Hey, they will want to force the mark of the beast on us. Please. I beg you, I beg you, don't give up, don't give up, hey, see, it's going to be a period of suffering, it's going to be a trying time for us all, but we must brace up for what is about to happen to us, it's possible that we might not be together, please, please don't compromise, please don't compromise, don't Take the mark of the beast! You take it! Hello, sir. It's Pastor Babs. Oh, Pastor Babs. Yes, sir. What's your dream for? I've been expecting your call. What about the assignment you will give me to 
Yes, yeah, that's why I'm calling you, sir. I want to give a progress report on the assignment. I've been doing some thorough investigations and um, I've come to discover that virtually all the worship centers are under lock and key now, sir, because of the ongoing situation. But I also had an intel that there's a certain brother who has been gathering people and teaching and instructing them not to take the mark and the symbol of the Great One, sir. After this conversation, I will text details of his address to you, sir. Uh, investigation is still ongoing, and I'll keep on giving you progress reports, sir. Oh, thank you, Pastor Babs, for this beautiful information. Uh, we are going to do everything possible to stop. I'm making another transfer of five million to your account right away. All right, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Good evening, my viewers at home. It's your girl, Nicholas Sharon, once again. And I bring you updates from the office of the Great One. First on our list is the worship of the image of the Great One for 365 days. The Great One has made it easy for us to worship Him by worshiping His image as a form of prayer. You might be wondering how this is possible. Well, the Great One has made it easy for us by implanting chips in our various devices, from our phones to our necklaces to your bangles, name it any form of device and it activates an alarm that at the sound of that alarm you can bow to the image of the great one therefore worshiping him next on our needs the regime of adam and eve <laughs> i know what is going through your mind wondering what this is all about well it is easy it is just the you know taking away of every discomfort you know, the sun, the weather, the atmosphere, the discomfort of all these clothing. It's not nice. So we are bringing back the creation, the first-hand creation way, the style we had then by walking around naked. You can go anywhere, anytime. You can just go naked. Just feel free to walk naked. No one will stop you. You don't have any issues. No one will stop you and ask you questions. It is stamped. It is the new law. Lest I forget, there are consequences for not worshipping the image of the Great One. And I'm sure you wouldn't want to experience that. Thank you. See you some other time. Bye. Oh. <sighs> this stomach has started again. And this boy, Jide, is not helping the matter at all. He said, I must receive the mark and worship the Great One. Before I can get any support, That's finished. Ah, the little water I have here has finished now. Oh, God. Let me go and get another water. Who is there? Mommy, it's me. Gide? Yes, ma'am. What do you want? I just feel like visiting you. Visiting me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you can enter. The door is not locked.
Amajide, what I'm doing is for you. You may not understand it now, but later you understand. No! I'm not ready to receive it. I won't. Well, madam, since you have said you will not receive it, the mark. Bring your head. No, no, no! No. I'm ready. You are ready? I'm ready to receive the mark and worship the great tour. Better. I'm ready. I'm ready. So, which type of symbol of the mark do you want? Give me the necklace. Was the grace to endure the pain that is coming. <laughs> Even me too, I'm afraid. <laughs> no, I'm afraid. I don't know what is coming, but we need grace. We need strength. We need strength. <laughs> strength to hold down to the very end. <laughs> strength to hold on to the condition of our faith. I know that you've been angry with me since I spoke to you the other time. And you know, all I was saying was just for your own good. See, Bimpe, hell is not a place meant for the children of God. Hell is a place meant for Satan and all other fallen angels. And you know, by the time Jesus Christ comes back, and if anybody is not raptured, what comes thereafter is the reign of Antichrist, which nobody can bear. Because those times can be unbearable for anyone. So, Bingpe, I am using this opportunity to tell you now that this is the time that salvation and grace is still available. Why can't you make use of this time now? Brother, brother, wait, 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 brother. I thought you are born again. What else do you want me to do? What is the art? What physical appearance? Even Adam and Eve, we are naked, but they were not ashamed. So what else? Go see the art, oh, not physical appearance, oh. Bing, 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 bing. Ah. Just let me be. Please. Please, where have you learned all this from? Who taught you? Where? I have said it, said it, said it, repeat it all the time. Ah, Pastor Babs, of course. Ewo, a female, a job. Move! I said move! I'm, I'm you! Move! When you refuse to find the priest at the 
of him? Not the image of him to worship him. Do you think you can escape him? Okay, well done. Sit down, buddy. Sit down. And who is the leader here? Stop! You, this man. I better buy your stories. Your wife did not sign the form, and she did not take the mark. But you signed the form, and yet you are you are just running away from getting the mark. Now, for the last time, will you take the mark now? Or I blow off your brains. No, I won't take the mark. I've made up my mind. I've dedicated my entire life to Jesus and not him. More. There's nothing you can do to change my mind. The worst thing you can do is to kill me. Then die. Oh my God. What will I do now? What a great mistake that I've made. Had I known, I would have amid my ways before the Lord. Had I known, I would have accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord. And personal Savior, where the grace was sufficient. See, now the time of grace has passed. I'm left alone, now to face the consequences. Ah, my friend Grace was wise. My friend Grace was wise. But I was foolish that day by taking wrong decision. Oh God, this is becoming unbearable. It's becoming unbearable for me. For the past one week, I have not eaten. I'm just taking water. Even the water has want to finish now. What will I do now? And they said you cannot buy nor sell except you get the mark or the symbol. Yeah. Of this new government leader and worship him. Oh my God. Oh my God, come to my rescue. Are you ready to receive the man? Or I blow off his brains? Are you ready? Now, come here. Come here. Give me your hands. That's it. <laughs> Yes, you, woman. Are you ready to receive the mark or not? No, I'm not yes. ready. You've chosen your faith then. And you, woman, are you ready to receive the mark or not? I'm ready. Go! Soldier! Pick her up! Dada! Let's go! Hallelujah, beloved. The second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ is at hand. Jesus Christ is coming very soon for his elect. The reign of Antichrist is the reign and time that anyone that remains or that means the rapture cannot be. It is a lawless time and a time of abomination where evil men will work strong and strong. It is a time of great combat against God and anyone that named the name of the Lord. It is Antichrist that is against Christ and anyone that has anything to do with Christ. Beloved, now that we have the grace, let us amend our will before the Lord. Jesus Christ is coming very, very soon. All these things happening in the world now, they are all manifestation of Antichrist. According to the word of God, in the book of 1 John, chapter 4, verse 3 that says, 
and every spirit that converseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, where ye have heard that it should come, and even now already it's in the world. Everything happening now at the manifestation of Antichrist. But the reign of Antichrist, no one will be able to stand. No one will be able to make it. Now that we have the grace, now that the grace of God is speaking better things, more than the blood of Abel, let's amend our way before the Lord and prepare ourselves for the second coming of Christ, which is hard to Maybe you have just watched this movie and you have, you have not yet given your life to Christ. This is the time to do so. This is the time of grace. The grace of God is still available. The grace of God that brings salvation is still available to save, to deliver, and to keep us, and to make us to make the rapture when our Lord Jesus Christ shall appear. Maybe you have just watched this drama and you want to give your life to Christ. Can you please say this prayer after me? Dear Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I realize myself as a sinner. Dear Lord Jesus, Forgive me all my sins. Wash me clean with your precious blood. Dear Lord Jesus, I accept you as my personal Savior. Come into my heart. Father Lord, wash me clean with your precious blood. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Beloved, as you have just said the prayer, believe in your heart that you are now born again. You are now a child of God. You are now among the saints that Lord Jesus Christ is coming for very soon. Beloved, the time we have now is the time to take it. It's the time to wash. It's the time to pray. It's the time to prepare ourselves for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is at the door. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The word of God says in the book of Hebrew, chapter 10, verse 37 to 39, that says, For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Now the Jews shall live by faith, but if any man draw it back, my soul shall not have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. I pray everything that is happening in the world now will not draw back from the Lord. But we prepare us ready for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is at the door. And I pray when Christ shall appear, we shall all appear with him in glory in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.